Hi, I'm Nantira. I'm, I'm a senior research fellow from University of Bristol. I'm very pleased to present you our work on depth estimation for wheel synthesis. This work was funded by the Inuit UK that allowed us to work closely with Blender Engineering. In the human vision system, a stereoscope process creates a, a perception of three-dimensional depth from combination of the two separate um, signals received by blend of our eyes. The fusion of these two slightly different pictures gives the sensation of a strong 3D um, by matching similarities. Um, to provide stereoscopic in machine vision applications, two images are captured simultaneously from two cameras with parallel camera geometry and an implicit uh, geometric process is used to extract 3D information from these images. In this paper, we present a new learning-based approach that achieves both high-quality estimated depth for wheel synthesis and fast computation. Most existing methods involve an iterative process to minimize an error function. The estimated disparity maps are mainly used um, for visual odometry, 3D object detection, and 3D tracking, not for 3D reconstructions or wheel synthesis, where precise um, estimation at depth discontinuity is very crucial. As you can see from this picture, the error um, at the edge that always happen and that cause problem of the wheel synthesis. So we adapt a dense map net with additional compact decoder and skip layers to include the low level features for finer estimation. Therefore, the network is shallower than many state-of-the-art methods while providing comparable accurate depth results. The matching process of the corresponding points between the left and the right wheels is performed at a lower um, resolution here. And down sample via a max pooling layer, a down, um, <coughs> sorry, a down scale factor of eight is used throughout this work um, this improves computational speed, reduces memory requirements, and overcomes problems of a large disparities. Then, dilated convolution with different dilation factors, that vary from 1 to 4, is applied. Dilated convolution enlarges the, the, um, the fewer view of the filter to incorporate larger uh, contexts by expanding the receptive field without loss of resolution. Four one-layer dense blocks are then employed to capture corresponding features. A dense block used feature maps for multiple processing layers as inputs leading to more connection amongst layers. Then, the feature maps are enlarged to the original resolution. Instead of applying upsampling only one slide in the dense map net, we um, propose a compact decoder used a stepwise upsampling by two, as shown in the yellow blocks. In addition, we add skip connections by merging the low-level feature maps of the left image in every upsampling step. This capture pixel-wise collocation between the RGB image and the depth map in both full resolution and feature levels. The prediction output of the layers um, is done via sigmoid activation function scale. Um, we should scale the output x of the last uh, convolution layer to um, 0 and 1. We propose depth estimation here as well. 
For view sensitive foreground objects are often more um, salient and incorrect depth estimates can result in noisy visualization, particularly at the edge of the objects and where there exists con uh, discontinuity of the depth. Here, we propose a nonlinear adjustment to the depth ground truth so that the closer objects have higher depth resolution than the distant objects or background. So this picture demonstrates how the depth value are adjust with the exponential function when p equal to 1 or 1.5. The lead plot shows that the depth value close to zero, the area near the camera, are stretched out, gaining higher resolution whilst the value close to 1 are chunk to the area far from the camera. This technique improved the validation loss by approximately 15% as shown in a right image, a right figure. The optimal value of P depends on application and the position of the silent objects in the scene. So we initial, uh, visualize this P value using curve fitting to the histogram of the training ground truth. Then we also um, adapt and uh, modify loss function. So most networks for disparity estimation mentioned um, uh, before employ the smooth L1 loss function, so it means square error, as it is robust to outlier and disparity and uh, discontinuity. However, outlier um, can still produce undesirable uh, protected pixels and seen as a noise edge in the synthetic views. Therefore, we here we employ the L2 loss function, which is the mean square error. In this paper, we propose using L2 loss calculate from the predicted depth map. Um, so you can see that uh, the, the construct left image from the right image refer as the projected loss and the prediction loss out to equal to um, the prediction minus the ground truth power by 2. The final loss function the final loss function is a weight combination between two losses. Experimental results show that adding the projected um, loss improved the prediction performance by approximately 20%. For robustness, we include eight scenes of the um, simulated serial sequence. So total we have 25,000 serial pair with a resolution of 480 by 640 pixels create using um, by the Unity software and Elastic Fusion algorithm by Blender Engineering. The example of the synthetic data set are illustrated um, on this slide. The scene includes both simple and complicated structures with narrow objects at different depths. The cameras are moved around the larger, uh, sorry, move around the target generating variant values. The network is trained with ADAM optimizer, which is an extension to the scholastic um, gradient descent, in which the pro the procedure update the network with iteratively based on training data. To prevent overfit, we drop 20% of the feature extracted in the convolution layer. For the result, first, we estimate depth maps during the training as shown in this here. The depth is quickly learned, getting sharper and subtle around to 50th iteration. We test our network with standard test sequences like Sinto containing um, animated humans, animals in various types of background scenes and also the sequence called driving and monka containing different sizes of objects and visual, um, visually challenging fur. The driving scene replicate the kitty data set 
um, but provide then this priority ground truth. We also include one of our synthetic data set propeller for testing. For the data set, the depth maps are estimated instead of this priority maps. We randomly selected 90% of the stereo pairs for training and used the remaining for um, validation. The performance of the proposed network was compared to the three state-of-the-art methods among the state-of-the-art methods, dense map net was report um, having the fastest speed, so less than um, 0 0.03 second per zero pair using NVIDIA GTX. This is allowed that this this, this, this is um, followed by this net and PSM net of which the runtime are approximately twice and ten times that the dense map net respectively. We test dense map net on NVIDIA Tesla M60 and found that it has computer, um, computational time of 0.2 sec per image pair. Our network um, process one zero pair within zero point two one sec, which is only five percent slower than the dense map net. However, the quality improved in excess of seventy percent. So, this figure shows synthesized right views. Um, the image are generated from the left image using the ground truth this priority map on the first column and then using estimated uh, dense map from the dense map net and compared to the right column which is generated from our method. So our synthesized result show better quality, particularly around the edge of the object. This priority of the depth estimation from sequences of trail image is an important element to 3D vision, owing to occlusions, imperfect settings, and homogeneous um, the accurate uh, estimate of the depth remain a challenging problem. Targeting view synthesis, we propose a novel learning based framework making use of the dilated convolution densely connected convolutional module, compact decode uh, and skip connections. The network is shallow but dense, so it is fast and accurate. Two additional contributions, which is like an, a non-linear adjustment of the depth uh, resolution and the introduction of the projection loss leading um, to reduction of the estimation earlier by up to 20% and 25% respectively. The results show that our network perform, uh, outperforms state-of-the-art method with an average improvement of accuracy of the depth estimation and built-in by about 45% and 34% respectively. Where they, our method generates comparable quality of the uh, estimated depth. depth, it performed 10 times faster than those methods. Thank you.